Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about iClone 8 because nowadays everybody wanna talk like they got something to say, but then it comes out, they'll move the lips. There's a bunch of gibberish, some motherfuckers out like they forgot about iClone 8. <laughs> Alright, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about iClone 8's update or Character Creator 4's update recently, which added AccuRig. Now, I covered AccuRig a couple of weeks, three weeks, four weeks, a month back, um, but now it is now built in character creator four, which is good. So we're going to talk about this a little bit. And what I'm going to show you right now is how to use AccuRig and have it compatible with an Unreal Engine four or five mannequin so you can use it for gameplay. So you can take a toy, scan it, rig up AccuRig and put it in your game potentially. So let's go ahead and get started. I bought a model for like $2.99. I'll put the link in the description below. I am not affiliated with that person. I just bought it because it looked good. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do first is like always I use Blender to do stuff like this. So I'll go to file, import, FBX, and I already have a folder called AccuRig. And I will just upload the female suit so you can kind of see it. Now, when it's uploaded, and that's why I like importing in Blender furs, it is super, super tiny, and it looks like the rotation is a little bit off. So I'm going to be using Blender to go ahead and fix this. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to delete these first. I don't know what they are, and honestly, I don't need the light also, so I'll click on the mesh. But what I want is I want to rotate it so that it's facing me right now, which is currently not. Now, I can't see my screen because the camera is in front of me, but basically, I will just rotate this, the Z axis until it's facing me and I'll put 60 in here just to take a guess. We'll just look at that. That worked out perfectly. And additionally, if I measure this character, you're gonna see that really tiny, really small. So what I'll do now is scale it. So S and then I'll put in 16. I'm just guessing here. I'm throwing some numbers around, not like I did this prior. And let's measure it now. 1.6, that's perfect for Unreal Engine, to be honest. So yeah, that was a good guess. And as you can see, it's a little bit off. So I'm gonna move it to the right some. So I'm gonna click over again, and just a little, I'm just gonna move her a tiny, tiny bit, 0 0.01 meters. That's good, don't ask me what that is in feet, because I have no idea. And then we'll just go from File, Export, FBX. Now, this should be good to go. I'm going to go to J, AccuRig, and I'm just going to give this a file name from Blender. And I'll export the mesh. I don't want any animation nor any armature. And for the path mode, I'll just put copy. With that being said, let's go ahead and export the FBX. And let's jump into Character Creator 4.1, which is the new version. All right, so what you're going to do is import this as a prop and it's gonna do its thing. And then for the modify panel here, let's go ahead and dock this here for some reason, it's not docked. I'll just kind of make this bigger. I'll scroll down and now you're gonna see AccuRig. I'll double click AccuRig or one click. And now what we'll do is I'll just make sure that, that she's centered. She is a little bit crooked still, but it's okay. And let's go ahead and create some guides. Now this model right here should be fairly easy. Got some high heels you know, robotic type of deal. Uh, but we'll take a look and see how how well this AccuRig rigs it. And as you can see now, she is facing correctly. And like, like previously, in the same exact way, we're going to be putting the landmarks on this character. Um, so starting with the head, you're going to see a place at the neck tip right here. This is the face. I'll click that and I'll just move that maybe up here. And then I'll click the neck. I'm just following the guide here on your screen. Now that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and generate five fingers. So it created some fingers for us. If I click on this, this is gonna change the camera. And then click on this, it's also gonna change the camera. Now what I'll do is I'll just take a look at the orientation of this thumb so that it's correct. It looks like that one's right. So again, I'll just kind of move it in position. And again, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with this here. But overall, it did pretty good. All right, overall, I'm pretty happy with that. So what we'll do next is let's go ahead and bind it to the skin. <sighs> okay, so once it's binded to the skin, let's go ahead and check the animation. I'm going to click this check animation button right here. 
And at the bottom, I'm gonna choose a full body rig, and this is gonna do some calculations, and I'll press spacebar to play. Holy shnikes. That is insane, ladies and gentlemen, and it's, that's pretty darn good. Crazy, I tell you. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> My freaking car wouldn't start, so I had to take it to the dealership. But anyways, we're back in iClone 8 now. And basically what we're going to do is export this out of iClone 8 and then import it to Unreal Engine 5 so we can use it as a playable character. Now, like I said earlier, the difference between this method and the standalone Accurig method is that right now the Accurig method standalone creates a different bone name structure. So this way right here in a character creator 4 will work perfectly because it creates UE4 mannequin skeleton bone names. Okay, so I have the character selected now and I'll just go to file export FBX and then we'll just do cloth character. And then I'm just going to choose Unreal here. The FBX option will do Mesh. And we just got to make sure that it is in a post right here. Embed Motion and Embed a post for Unreal. So let's go ahead and export that. And I'll just put it here from Accu. And then Save. All right, so I have Unreal Engine 5 open now. This is just a small map that I'm testing out, kind of creating or kit bashing together. Uh, some of these assets are like the new Kitbash 3D Cyberpunk Street assets, which look pretty nice. Pretty much every time Kitbash 3D releases Cyberpunk stuff, I pretty much just buy it while they're half off. But anyways, we're in Unreal Engine 5.1 now. And what I'm going to do is, that, again, I'm going to put that character in the third-person template so we can walk around in there. And so with that being said, if you don't have the third-person template yet in your project, go ahead and go to Add. And then add feature content pack, which is going to do third person. This is not only going to add the blueprint, but also going to add characters and IK retargeters in your project, which is freaking amazing. And then I just created this folder called ACCR or Accurig. And then what I'll do is I'll go to the folder where I exported that from iClone. It's this one from AACU. I'll just drag and drop it in there. And we're not going to choose a skeleton. And then under the advanced, just make sure these two are checked off. I don't have any animations, so this should be it. I'll go ahead and import that. I'll close this now, and let's take a look. I'm going to look at the skeleton here and go to the skeleton. And as you can see, root, pelvis, spine, this mimics Unreal Engine 4 mannequin skeleton. And this is why the character creator 4 right now, as of right now, is better than the standalone. Because the standalone Accurig has like CC spine 01, which is going to screw up your retargeting. And, but like I said, I already talked to iClone and hopefully they'll fix that standalone accurate as well. What I'll do is I'll just right click that skeletal mesh and go to skeleton, assign skeleton. And I'm going to select the UE4 skeleton mannequin right here that that third person template added to our project. And uh, I'm missing some stuff in there, but that's okay. I'm going to say accept and I'm just going to create the rest of the bones. And after that, I'll double click that skeletal mesh, go to the skeleton and I'll just press save. And we're pretty much almost done. Next thing we need to do is go to content and in the world settings right here, I'm gonna go to the game mode override and you're gonna see BP third person game mode. I'm gonna go ahead and twirl selected game mode and then look for that BP. From here, I'm gonna double click that BP and I'll go to the viewport, make this bigger. I'm gonna select that skeletal mesh that's currently in there right now, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll click this atom class to search for it, minimize, and I'll just right click it, retarget animation assets, duplicate animation assets. All right, kind of like how we used to do it in Unreal Engine 4. And now the IK retargeter, the source skeletal mesh is gonna be the UE5. So it's gonna be UE5 Manny to UE4 Manny. Because remember, I changed the accurate character to become the UE4 skeleton. So I'm gonna click this. And now you're gonna see that we're gonna be retargeting from the UE5 to the UE4, but I'm gonna select the drop down and we're gonna choose the rig that we created. And as you can see, this is good to go. I'll change the folder just to kind of make things tidy. I'll create one and I'll just put retargeted, retarget, and then press okay, and then retarget. This is gonna retarget those animations now. And again, next thing I'm gonna do is go to default pawn class. I'm gonna click on the search again, double click that blueprint class, 
All right, and then I'm gonna select that mesh again, and now I'm going to replace it. I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna to go to Accu right here. And then in the Atom class, I'm going to change that, and I can't see it, I'm sorry, my camera's in front of me, so let me move this. And then for the Atom class, we're going to change that to ABP Quinn. And now you're gonna see our character animating, which is what we want. So I'll compile, and then save, and then minimize. And this is still preparing some shaders, but I'm gonna try and see if we can play this here right now. Okay, so I'll press play. Oh, nice, it works. As you can see, now we have that character in my environment. All right, and I'll press F11 right here. I can even jump. So basically, we successfully rigged a character using the character creator for Accurig and made it compatible inside Unreal Engine 5 in the UE5 mannequin, which is pretty darn cool. And obviously my feet's kind of going down a little bit, but I can just lift that character up, which this is looking pretty darn cool. And again, the freaking retarget, I mean, and, and again, the rig is pretty darn solid. And what I'll do now is I'll just assign a texture so it looks decent. So I'll go to the upload textures right here. I already untwirled it. And I'll just drag and drop all of this here into our Unreal Engine 5 project. It's weird how they named it. So color is going to be your diffuse. So I'm going to go to the C and I'll create a new material and I'll just name it, whatever. Click on that. And we have the color in there and I'll save it. All right. And then we have a roughness right here. We have a normal right here. And then I'll go ahead and press save. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll look for that skeletal mesh, which is right here. And I'll just drag and drop that to apply that new material we just created. I'll press save. This is going to prepare some shaders. And as you can see, we actually get reflections on our visor. And look, she looks much cooler, a lot shinier, and she fits the environment a little bit better. Pretty cool. I don't know, press F11 here. But yeah, I guess we can check out the uh, assets from Kitbash. Uh, the scale might be a little bit wrong, maybe. Pretty, pretty cool. Well, that's all I got for you all today. Like I said in previous videos, my YouTube channel does have membership enabled now, so I can drop some mocap files in there and presets and maybe models someday. Uh, so if you want to support the channel, go ahead and sign up for the membership. Uh, additionally, if you haven't done so, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year. Peace out.